second attempt at two metres. And what would be a new strain in Oceania area record? Jump by Nicola McDermott. That is unbelievable. What a time to do it. <laughs> you have seen history here in Nicola McDermott, the first Australian woman to jump over two metres. Yeah, what a moment, the Australian high jump record, the first woman to reach that two metre mark and a place in the Olympic team, Ooh. Nicola McDermott. <laughs> Of those three, I mean, they're all enough to make you very, very excited, aren't they? How, how do you feel? Oh, it was all in one day that it happened. And yeah. I think that was my 16 years worth of dreaming. Uh, it's so many times of just missing out, just missing out. And that day, everything came about. So it was worth it. Yeah, 18th of April, I'll have to engrave that onto yeah. something. Yeah. <laughs> when, all those years of dreaming. So when, when did you, when was the first time you jumped over and something thought, gee, I'm pretty good at this? Well, uh, when I was in the under nines in Little Athletics, I was super tall. So I was born tall, right? Um, and so I, I walked in and they introduced me to high jump, benefit to be tall. Only a few steps land on this mattress high jump. I said, this is it. This is it. And they said, the Australian record's 198. I said, I'll be jumping two one day. And 16 years later, that came about. Nicola, um, now you did the Fosby flop, but when you were nine, what did you... Was it the scissors or...? or? Um, they were trying to teach us the scissors, but I just simply fell over the bar and I was right. breaking records because I was so tall. You just yourself up in the air and just that, landed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the Frosby flop, as a kid, it looks more like you're just a spaghetti over the bar. There's not a lot of technique or core work. OK. Yeah. Now, when you jump, you ha have your little notebook with you. And so after each jump, you pull out your pen and you sit by yourself while all the other jumpers are over here and you give yourself a rating out of 10. Yeah. Why yeah. do you do that? Is that just trying to put them psych everyone no. else out or? Uh, my sports psych and I came up with that idea because uh, after a jump, if it's bad, then you've got something to work on. But if it's good, the hard thing is, well, how did I do that? And how do I replicate that? So I found it's very objective to keep my, um, my pen and paper and just rate myself out of 10 for how good the arm was, how good the air position was because that just keeps me grounded. So after the two metre jump, that was the first thing I did after I hugged people, I rated myself. And, and? it's and What'd you um, give about an eight out of ten. <laughs> so I, I think I've, we've got it. We've got some extra room to work on. So yeah, did that and it, it seemed to work really well. Because then for the next attempts at two or three, I was back in the game. Nicola, how, sorry, how's the vibe leading up to the Tokyo Olympics? Like, as in, you know, it'll be a different games, won't, won't it? With uh, perhaps a lack of crowd and, and all the COVID restrictions. Does it take anything away from it from you? And do you feel confident that it actually will go ahead? Yeah, I think everyone at the moment is gearing up that it is going ahead. I can't have a single doubt in my head that it's not because then I won't push myself to the limit that I, that I need to be pushing myself if I want a medal. Uh, and without the spectators now, I love a crap, I lo love a clap. You saw it. it was, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, if you... But no, wonder you're so, <laughs> no wonder you're so thin. <laughs> <laughs> Can I try and let, we'll change the subject. We'll get we'll get we'll get serious. Here's your promo for the week. Honey. We'll get serious. Um, but two metres that would have won in Rio. That that height. One ninety seven won in Rio, but um, the World Championships in two thousand and nineteen two oh four came first and second. Oh wow! So we're looking at these girls that are just. Um, the best caliber of athletes yeah. right now. Uh, so I don't want to say that two meters is the gold medal jump. It's definitely a podium level jump, but if you're really looking to get that gold medal, it's going to need an extra few centimeters, I think personally. So you're one of our best medal prospects. Surely that means you're up the front of the line when it comes to vaccinations. Are you going to get vaccine? Well, vaccine? at the moment we're not prioritized um, because we're not the ones that are at risk of um, getting severe effects with COVID. Uh, I'm hoping to get vaccinated, but if it's right before the Olympics, then uh, you, if, if I am a medal hope, then there's a bit of um, tension as what will it do to my body right before 
we're on the plane. Um, I believe that it's going to be quite a closed environment with the Olympic bubble, but I'm hoping to go to the Diamond Leagues afterwards. Does your coach go? My coach is not allowed to go, unfortunately. Right, so it's very, very different. You're used to, though, you've had to go through that whole process of hotel quarantine and still training yeah. throughout that quite regularly, in fact. I think we've got some vision here. It's the people in the room downstairs that I worry about <laughs> a little bit, but you obviously, you know, how important it is for you to stay in that condition. Oh yeah, God. yeah. So with the hotel quarantine... <laughs> <laughs> Is that a Frosby flip that, on the bed? That was a flop. Frosby flop. flop. Um, yeah, we're getting our words all mixed up today. <laughs> what was the other one? I don't remember the other one. <laughs> Um, that's the closest thing to swearing I've had for 10 years. So. <laughs> you should hang around us more often. Oh, no, my, 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 my church pastor would say otherwise. That's <laughs> 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 all right. He doesn't have fox still. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's evil. Why would he? <laughs> Change the subject. Oh, okay. One more question. Yeah, one more question. Do you cross your fingers like this when you jump? Yes, so it's a, a natural reflex for me and I can feel myself doing it over the high jump bar. I can't stop myself from doing it. It's natural. Even it's right behind us, we can see every oh, single wow. jump. I've always crossed my fingers. Um, wow. And I think for me, it's, you know, when you get a bit of a nervous twitch and you, you do something, in high jump you have to be so focused, you can't twitch. So only the, um, only the fingers. How tough is the challenge of being an Olympic athlete? I mean, you don't get the footballers' wages or the cricketers' wages. And I, I sense, you know, there's a true love there, but it couldn't be easy at times. Yeah, yeah. I mean, still living home with mum and dad. Um, she ha they haven't kicked me out yet. Um, Maybe after tonight. <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't have fox <laughs> Um, but I think, um, you know, it was, it's humble beginnings and uh, people overseas as well, they're, they're on big, uh, big wages for mm. athletics. And it was a bit heartbreaking, I think, at times when people compare me to other athletes that have a good wage. But I said, would I prefer to be getting $50,000 a year from a sponsor and jumping 170 or getting zero and jumping two? And I will happily get zero and jump two because well, that's my passion. Um, and I think if I jump um, and do the Olympic medals, then I think the sponsors will come after. Oh, Especially after well that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.